Hi everyone, so this video is a video of me getting my nails done. I asked on Twitter if you would like to see videos of me getting my nails done and just sped up and a lot of you said yes, so here it is. Um, Sweetie Nails, Sunny at Sweetie Nails, she was interested in doing those short Instagram tutorials and I recently posted one. I'm thinking about posting another one and I want to post more except I can't post the one minute yet, so that's kind of dumb. But anyway, right now she's just dabbing a few colors on and then mixing it together so you have this really nice, I don't know, pastel effect. And now she's putting on the glass shards. It's called the shattered glass effect, I think. Um, it's basically a piece of like iridescent paper that you cut up into little pieces and you stick onto the nail, whether it's just nail polish or gel nails. Every time you see my hand going out of frame, it's because it's going into the UV lamp. So yeah, and um, she's putting on quite a few layers of the top coat because the glass shards, the little pieces, they have a lot of texture and you don't really want to feel that on top of your nail. It doesn't really feel nice. So you want to kind of put a lot of base coat so it gets in between all those crevices and everything like that. So she's doing the same thing on the other nail. These two nails I think were basically the same except she drew on different designs with gel polish later on but you don't really see the really pretty like colors underneath all of the glass shards and everything but you can see them like underneath my nail because my gel extensions were clear. So she's doing the same thing with the glass shards. Um, these were actually super cool. I want to take a piece of paper home and like stick it on my face somehow, but it's really pretty and really cool and I think it's easy enough that you could do it at like home. I don't know. I don't know. But again, she's putting on thick top coats or whatever so that there's no texture because it sh doesn't feel nice you want like when you get your nails done you want the surface to feel smooth so right now she is just I don't know what she's doing um, oh she's putting on more um, glass shards except she didn't put on any color like that nice base color so you can just see through my nail and I think it looked really pretty and cool um, I, I really like the see-through nail where the extension is like clear. I think it's really cool. So here she's drawing in a design with white gel and the thing with white gel is like if you don't like it you can just erase it because it's not like set in stone until you put it into the UV light. Unlike acrylic or um, nail polish that kind of sets a bit faster or like it sets on its own. Well gel polish you kind of have time to like figure out and fix things which I think is really cool. She drew this really nice and cool geometric design. She kind of just did her own thing which I think is amazing because she wasn't like looking at a reference picture. She was just drawing all these shapes and it looks really really cool. It's super intricate. It looks a lot easier because it's sped up, but this is like super duper sped up. She's actually really taking her time. That brush is so skinny. So yeah, it's super intricate, very time consuming TBH, but the end result is worth it. IMO. <laughs> so now we are going to do another nail and I'm dancing with my fingers. Oh, we're not doing another nail. Oh, she, yeah, I forgot. She kind of does a little bit more design. But now she's doing another nail and I think this design was really cool because you get to see more of the glass shards. And I think it was really cool that you can see it underneath or through de the design. So, yeah. What she does on the pinky nail I think is really really cool. So get excited for the pinky nail. But yeah, 
she does a lot more of these like geometric designs i think she's like really into that i'm like okay with it i think it's nice but i'm not really like really into it but i think it's cool and i love how the designs came out so again she didn't do the base layers with the pastel colors she just kind of did it on top of the clear-ish nail and I guess she skips ahead and then she draws like the reverse French the moon I don't know what it's called really okay so she goes back to this nail and again she just cooks it in the lamp so that the design really sets so she can draw more or change her mind you know it's really a nice medium to work with with for nail designs I think so yeah and now she's sticking the glass shards inside the white and I think it just looks so cool and pretty I really really love this design just because I don't know I really love these glass shards I really love like the iridescence of it and I want to like really stick it on my face so here again she's putting on a bunch of top coats so that it is smooth and I wanted a heart but it doesn't really match with the rest of my nails but I wanted a heart and she was like okay I'll give you a heart <laughs> so this is the design she ended up doing um, this nail ended up breaking so I have no more heart RIP but it was really really pretty while it lasted <laughs> so she draws like this empty heart I guess with the white gel polish and then she's just going to stick some glass shards inside the nail which is so pretty I love it I love it. It's so cool and pretty. And I really like that they take the time to make sure that the surface of the nail is smooth because I hate it when I can feel something. It just bothers me, drives me crazy. So again, she's doing the same stippling method to get like this nice watercolor effect, I guess. And she's drawing, like I wanted to do marbling, but honestly I think this looks like more like the Milky Way or something. Not really marbling, but it's still super pretty. It looks really dreamy and nice. And it's so crazy how she does it so easily without like any trouble. Like this set was really fast because she's just like bloop 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 but the other set she was like drawing all these intricate designs so that one took a little bit longer she's doing the same stippling and it's really really pretty top coating over that before she does the marbling milky way thing and then again making sure that I'm cooking in between so this is the finished nails I didn't record the index finger because it was the same design and the thumb basically it's the same design so here she's doing some bling some bling and wow that stone looks so much prettier on video I think well, it's like weird to see it in a different light but yeah she just places stones all in like the middle of my nail so these are my nails I added some photos from my Instagram so yeah I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one bye